And shout out to Peter McKinnon for this awesome bag. Backed it a while ago on Kickstarter and uh, got it a couple of months ago in the mail, but haven't been able to try it out because of COVID. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to try it out for the first time. Bye, Bravo. See you in a few days. We are now at Vancouver Airport. Uh, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, we are off to Toronto today uh, in Air Canada's premium economy. So let's get it going. A lot of people don't realize how far Vancouver and Toronto actually are from one another, so here's a flight map to illustrate. The flight itself takes about three and a half hours, flying eastbound over several provinces, over the Great Lakes, and into Toronto after having flown over 3,300 kilometers. Still very quiet in the international check-in area. Almost no one. Signs telling people to practice physical distancing. There is Peterson. Got our masks on. At the time of this video, the domestic check-in area was still closed, and domestic check-ins were moved to the international area. However, I believe they have since reopened. Got ourselves some food at the food court. Past security now. Um, we still have a couple of hours into our flight, so just gonna find a place and sit down for a bit. Can't go in there. Actually super excited to be flying again. Here is a Dreamliner we're taking over to Toronto, 77-9. Uh, Just came in from London 20 minutes ago. I think this is actually my first time taking a new livery Air Canada Dreamliner. Here we go. My seat for the flight was 14A, the left window seat in the last row of the premium economy cabin. The entire cabin only consists of three rows in a 2-3-2 configuration, totaling 21 seats. Right behind row 14 is the economy cabin, separated by partition. The seat measures 19 inches in width, with 38 inches of pitch. So being 5'7", I felt pretty comfortable in the seat. I think it's a pretty nice seat. It's a wall behind me, window seat, glass row of the premium economy cabin. So pretty private spot. Uh, so if you're gonna be flying premium economy, definitely pick one of these spots. Now that we have some time before pushback and takeoff, let's give you a quick seat tour. First off, you have an 11 inch touchscreen TV with a headphone jack 
and a USB port on the bottom. To the side, you have a coat hook. You've got the standard IFE controller. The mesh seatbelt pocket consists of the safety card as well as a few sickness bags. Note the absence of the magazines due to COVID-19 precautions. A footrest is available and is quite nice if you have shorter legs like me. Note that the bulkhead seats do not have a footrest. With the footrest stowed, you have a lot of space to put a bag underneath the seat. As we're flying the Dreamliner, of course you have the dimmable windows, which most AV geeks are not a fan of. You'll see why later in this video. Seat 14A has a great wing view as you're situated right at the leading edge of the wing with a nice view of the engines. It looks especially good with the black engines of the new livery in my opinion. Continuing on with the seat features, you have a shared drink tray in front of the center armrest, and the tray table can be found stowed beneath the armrest flap. To deploy the tray table, lift up on the latch, swing it out, and fold down. The tray table can move forward and back, and it's pretty sturdy. Here's a closer look at the seat itself. There is a pretty plush headrest which is height adjustable. There is another headphone jack located in front of the center armrest console. In premium economy, every seat comes with its own individual power outlet. I'm so glad that Air Canada opted for the individually adjustable air nozzles. I always tend to feel too warm when I board the aircraft, so being able to adjust the nozzle myself really helps. I'm pretty happy with this seat. I like this seat. What do you think, Peterson? How's the seat? I like it. So every passenger gets one of these. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, you know what these are. It's the clean care kits. You get a pair of gloves, face mask, package of pretzels, two sanitizing wipes, hand sanitizer, a pair of earbuds, a message from the chief medical officer, and a water. What were you saying? Oh yes, you should wipe it. Did I miss anything? Quite impressive, giving us a nice welcome back into the skies.
Let's check out the entertainment system. First of all, the display quality is great. Not much glare and the colors were vibrant. The movie selection on the flight was extensive, with plenty of different genres to suit your preferences. The touchscreen was okay. As you can see, there is a bit of delay when scrolling around. You have the option of viewing most content in picture-in-picture -picture mode or full screen. And that's also the case for the flight map. The flight map is driven by Flight Path 3D, which is the same one used by a lot of other airlines. As we reached cruising altitude, the crew delivered a light, cold meal served in a plastic tray to minimize contact. It consisted of a chicken wrap, salted cashews, and a giant Kit Kat bar. Of the three items, I was probably most excited for the Kit Kat bar, but the chicken wrap still tasted pretty decent. Due to the scaled down service, there wasn't much in the way of drink selection, except for red wine, white wine, beer, or soft drinks. Peterson had the red wine, while I simply went for a Coke. Normally on a late afternoon flight traveling eastbound, I look forward to seeing the sunset mid-flight. However, about an hour into the flight, the crew naturally dimmed all the windows. Surprisingly, I was still able to override the setting and undim the window myself, even though it took a full 5 minutes to undim. I guess that's their way of not blinding people who are trying to sleep. Anyways, as the windows are taking their sweet time, let's go check out the lavatories. Welcome to Air Canada's washroom on board the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. I already love the fact that they have chosen to include a window. It just makes the small washroom feel a lot more spacious. Aside from that, the washroom was pretty standard. I was pretty surprised they still offered the Vitruvi hand cream and face mist amenities. On the rear wall, you'll find some distinctly Canadian art. As well as a bassinet, and finally some coat hooks. Overall, the washroom was pretty clean and felt pretty roomy. Of course, I can't forget to wash my hands thoroughly after touching all these surfaces in the washroom. Let me try to demonstrate the seat recline of the premium economy seat. The seat reclines about 7 inches, which felt quite nice for taking short naps. The plush headrest also acted as a decent pillow. As the sun fully set on the horizon, it was a great time to admire the subtle blue and purple mood lighting of the cabin. Finally, Air Canada does offer Wi-Fi on this Dreamliner. I didn't purchase it for this flight, but you can choose to buy a monthly pass or get a single-use pass for the flight. Before I knew it, we were already descending into the Toronto area, setting up for a landing on runway 24 right. Overall, I really enjoyed my first time in Air Canada's premium economy. I admit, one of the main reasons we opted for premium economy was to put some extra distance between us and other passengers. The 232 seating configuration was perfect for this, as we were guaranteed not to sit beside someone. The seat itself was spacious and really comfortable, with generous legroom and a decent recline. If you're willing to splurge a little bit on your next flight with Air Canada, I do recommend checking out their premium economy offering. We've arrived in Toronto. Looks very humid. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye plane, thanks for the ride. That was fast. All right, we have landed and uh, just waiting for the hotel shuttle to come pick us up. And then we're headed to the hotel. It's uh, just past midnight, I believe. Still need to have dinner. It's here. What do you think of the flight? Good, that's not good enough for that. You said you weren't going to sleep. I, I tried not to sleep. You told me not to sleep and then you fell asleep. 
Hilton clean stay. Oh, I have the key. I just got to our hotel. They give out these warm cookies at the front desk when you check in. It's pretty cool. And that's our dinner for tonight. Hot pot and udon. So we brought our own sanitizing equipment. Oh, it smells nice. You should turn on the light. Okay. What about that light? Is it on the ground? Oh. So can I touch the, the button now? Oh, it's wet. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more trip reports and aviation content. Until next time, thanks for watching, happy travels, and I'll see you in the next one.